If you don't watch and God doesn't open your eyes, well, the children will take you into hell. It's a feast. And if we knew it, we should be feasting here when we are having that person. We need to have unleavened bread. What is unleavened bread in Kiswahili? Hallelujah. Mkate? Speak it loud so he can hear. Chakula cha Unleavened bread. See a chakula cha Unleavened bread. Hallelujah. One of the unleavened bread we know is chapati. Chapati is unleavened bread. And in fact, we should bring chapati here and break it when we are fishing. Because that's unleavened bread. Bread, what, 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 this bread that you, you take. Super loaf. When I work in yeast. When you put yeast, that bread now becomes leavened. That's why Jesus said, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. And leavened bread is yeastless without yeast. So we break it. With what? With a cup. The drink. Uh, the, the fruit of the vine. Hallelujah. And so Jesus, it is written, Luke records it. He says, and he took the cup after supper. <laughs> it means he had already eaten. Because it is written, he took the cup after supper. And he blessed it and gave it to them. And he told them, drink this. It's my blood in the new covenant. In the same way, he took bread and break it. And he gave it to them. He said, Take this and eat. It is my body that is broken for you. And then, what does Jesus say? These are the words of Jesus. In the scripture I've just mentioned, Luke 22 19. He says, do this in remembrance of who? Of Jesus. So what are we doing in remembrance of Jesus? We are breaking bread, drinking the cup. What are we doing? We are remembering the Passover. Jesus. Jesus. And why are we remembering Jesus? Jesus reminded us for every purpose that there is. If we are to remember Jesus for any reason, let us remember him because of his death. Reasoning of Jesus. We remember him for what reason? Because of his death. Because it is in, is in, his, in his death that we have eternal life. You see, the devil was very happy. The day Jesus carried the cross. When he had been beaten with stripes. And he was weak and faint. Because he had eaten nothing. And they gave him the cross to carry. And he fell down three times. The third time he could not stand up. So they pulled a black man. 
One called Simon of Cyrene. And the Roman soldier with a sword and a spear. Who commanded him by force to take the cross of Jesus. And carry it up the hill. The hill. Because we must crucify him. Praise the name of Jesus. The devil was celebrating. Yes, All this that was happening. Yes, Jesus went up the hill to get Samaria. And, and, and I went up the hill to Golgotha. The devil was celebrating. And when they nailed him, and crucified him on the cross. And he hung there at the sixth hour. At the sixth hour, at the sixth hour, darkness fell upon the earth. Why did darkness fell upon the earth? Because Jesus was on the cross. Bearing the sins of all of us. All of us. For it is written in Romans 3.23. For all have sinned. For all have sinned. Who has this wanted to maintain that life? For all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. Amen. All have sinned. I want you to understand that the scripture says all have sinned. It is not Adam and Eve that have sinned. All of us are sins. Since you walk up there to be fine and dumpy. See, you see, so many dumpy are down on naive and you're able to find out. No. All of sins, the scripture has condemned all of us under sin. Maziko in a way, because since you walk up there to be fine and dumpy. Adam sinned, yes. Eve sinned, yes. You and I have sinned. That is what the scripture says. And so we have come short of being with God. To me cause cool. Now ways were cool. Praise the name of Jesus. And we do not serve God because we are better. We do not serve God because we are not sinners. No. It is Jesus who has made us the righteousness of God in himself. So we are sinners made righteous by Christ Jesus. And he has ordained all of us to serve him. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to speak very briefly about the most important thing. That is the cross. Praise the name of Jesus. So we remember Jesus because of the cross. And Jesus teaches in Matthew 16, 24. And Luke records the same thing in Luke 9, 23. And I love the writing of Luke. And they talk about the same thing. He says, if you have to follow Jesus, you must take up your cross and follow Jesus. Why do you take up your cross? When Jesus took up his cross, what did he take his cross to do? What was the cross meant to do? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When you take up your cross, you are signifying death. 
Unamanisha kifo. And so when Jesus carried in boys clothes. Na wakati Yesu alipenda msalaba wake. To death. Ilimaanisha kifo. When you take up your cross as Jesus commands. Unapochukua msalaba Yesu akisema. To death. Inakuonyesha kifo. Inaweza kukuzwe. Because you must die. Sababu lazima ufe. Hallelujah. Look in Luke 9:23 he says You must take up your cross. Daily. Every day. How many of you woke up and took their cross this morning? How many? I woke up and took mine. My cross must be dead. So that I can live in Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. In Luke 14:27, he says this. If you do not take up your cross, you cannot be a disciple of Jesus. We must become disciples of Jesus Christ. How do we become disciples of Jesus? By taking up the cross. Take up the cross. And die. Be dead. So that you may live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus died that we may live. And have eternal life. In John chapter 16, as Jesus is praying, he says, This is eternal life. That they may know me, whom the Father has sent. What is eternal life? It's the knowledge of Jesus Christ. It's very nice to preach beautiful things. But they do not know Jesus. If you do not know Jesus, how can you be his disciple? How can you have eternal life? Because Jesus says, This is eternal life. That they may know me. Whom the Father has sent. Praise the name of Jesus. You and I must know Jesus. Paul confesses. And, and he says. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. Praise the name of Jesus. It is significant for us. To know the Lord Jesus Christ. To know him very well. And also come to Christ. And the power of his resurrection. Hallelujah. And then after Paul has known him, what does he say? He says, and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that I know him whom I have believed in the name of Jesus. He now knows him whom he has believed. Do you know him whom you have believed? You know some of us are just Christians. I told you the other day I'm not a Christian. I believe in Christ Jesus. And I confess with Paul. I know him. Whom I have believed. Whom have you believed? You better know him whom you have believed. Daniel knew him. And Daniel confesses and says. They that know him. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Daniel knew him. And because Daniel knew him, he didn't fear the king. He didn't fear the, 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 the words that was written. He didn't fear the judgments of the world. He didn't fear the judgments of the world. 
Because he knew whom he believed. Like Job did. Job says, My redeemer liveth. I shall see him. Walk. My Redeemer lives. And I shall see him. Walk on earth. Do you confess me, Job? Do you confess the same? 